Hello, my name is Shan Badawi and I will be doing my project on butt microbiome effects on mental health. Ignore the mask and the gloves. I have been exposed to COVID and I am trying to keep my family safe. That's the way it goes. But I chose this topic because people generally don't associate your gut with your brain, they think it's two different entities, but they're actually very connected, and an unhealthy gut can truly affect your mental health. Um, your gut microbiome is fairly important because there are a lot of bacteria cells in your GI tract that affect metabolism, nutrition, physiology, and general immune function. Uh, your gut microbiome contributes to diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, and autophagy. Your microbiome also keeps your phylum levels stable. It provides antimicrobial compounds that protect the gut lining from the colonization of pathogens. It also has a communication system with the brain that sends neural, hormonal, and immunological signals to the brain. You may be asking yourself, how does the gut microbiome actually affect mental health? Well, there are a lot of connections between the brain and the gut. Like I said before, there are more than 100 million nerve cells that line the gastrointestinal tract from the esophagus to the rectum, which connects to the brain. Uh, the irritation of the gastrointestinal system actually sends signals to the central nervous system and it triggers negative mood changes when the gut microbiome is in a healthy state. Uh, the vagus nerve is actually the biggest nerve connecting the gut to the brain and the gut microbiome is actually considered the second brain in our stomachs. Uh, because of the amount of nerve cells that are in it. Uh, here's a picture of the gut to brain axis. Uh, there are a lot of negative effects that come along with an unhealthy gut microbiome health. Um, an imbalanced gut microbiome or diasposis is associated with many diseases including mood disorders such as anxiety, depression, etc. Changes in the gut microbiome and unhealthy diets or inflammation in the gut can affect the brain negatively and cause symptoms like Parkinson's disease, autism, anxiety, and depression. Some researchers are saying that infections that occur in your earlier life, in your gut microbiome, can actually hinder your normal brain development and disrupt the gut to brain access. Um, this affects the mucosal membrane, and this membrane is actually altered through poor diet choices, radiation treatments, antibiotics, and chemotherapy. On the other hand, there are a lot of positive effects of having a healthy gut microbiome. For example, probiotic supplements have been proven in the past to improve symptoms of depression, anxiety, OCD, and other neurological conditions. There are a lot of studies that show reduced risks for depression in diets that have higher fruit and vegetable intake or whole grains, olive oil, and fish intake. Um, people who are treated for major depressive disorder that use personalized dietary counseling experience shorter depressive periods. And there is data that shows countries that have a general healthy diet quality tend to have lower rates of depression. Here are some foods that contribute to a healthy gut microbiome. 
lot of fermented food with healthy bacteria, vegetables, fruits, grains, carbs, and healthy fats. And here are my references.